What's going on my peoples? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the series, Stress. If you have been following along, then you know that this is part six, the last and the final part to the series. If you haven't watched the previous episodes before, I suggest you go watch part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, before you watch part six. Today I have with me a special guest. And before I introduce my special guest, how are you doing today? If you haven't heard of Chanel before, seen Chanel before, this is my partner in crime, but she's also a world champion. And in these past couple years, and this is going back to the final S of the word stress, which is showing up. I don't know someone who has shown up as much as she has in the midst of uncertainty, in the midst of, uh, the same injury coming back over and over again in so many different ways, she continues to show up. But I figured that it would be a little cooler if we had this conversation over a game of pool. What do you think? <laughs> so my question to you is, my first question is, as a high-performing athlete, you know, you have broken your foot, fractured it three times now. How do you get yourself to continue to show up, not only mentally, but physically? Like, what are some methods that help you? Because I can only imagine, especially over our time together these past couple of years, uh, the day-to-day and the energy that it takes to get yourself in a positive state of mind. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is I allow myself to feel what I feel. So um, when I am stressed, I don't I don't ignore that. I acknowledge it, and I allow myself to be sad or angry or upset or confused uh, for a short amount of time. And then I've throughout these past few years have been able to come up with a method to kind of. Um, pull myself out of those emotions, whether it's um, reading the Bible or playing worship music or talking to you. Um, But I think it's important for people to know that like you can feel what you feel. We're human and we have emotions for a reason. And so um, other than that, I think there's some other key things that I do. Like I I try to just take things one day at a time um, and just tackle the day ahead of me instead of thinking about tomorrow or next week or next month I just really zone in on today and that's really helped um I also try not to worry about what other people are doing so for me my competitors in the 800 meter if I think about what they're doing I am going to just be stressed to the max and I'm going to be sad because they're running and I'm not they're competing and I'm not and that's just a recipe for disaster. So I just focus on Chanel and control what I can control, control my work ethic and my dedication and my discipline. And um, I can't control what they're doing. I can only control me. So um, just staying focused on myself. And I think also just remembering my why um, on those days when I don't feel like getting out of bed, I don't feel like going to training. Um, my why is what is what keeps me going. And for me is my why is um, just becoming the best I can be with this God-given talent that I've been blessed with. So um, when I am not motivated, my discipline and my why kicks in. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you watching something again? I'm going to win. You know, I think that's very important, and that's the system that worked for you. But I want to ask, why is it important to show up, right? Because I've always believed that if you show up, like good things will happen. But that's what I believe. But why do you think it's important and is important for you personally and for those watching to continue to show up? (laughs) That's a really good question. I think it's important to show up because when you commit to something 
I think it's so important to see it all the way through and to finish it. And so for me, I committed to becoming the best 800 meter runner that I could possibly be a long, long time ago. And the journey has not looked (laughs) anywhere like what I thought it would, but I am committed to finishing this thing out and commitment is all about showing up and so even if my goal my end goal doesn't come to fruition showing up every single day um, it really helps you become a better version of yourself and to me that is more important than the end goal Just go. Yeah. Call your shot. No. What do you mean? You have left me nothing. I guess that's the point of the game. I'm, I'm, <laughs> we're not teammates. <laughs> Which one? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think it's very spot on when you said the end goal uh, is, 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 is where we should strive to go, finishing whatever it is that we started. And so I think when it comes to dealing with stress, understand that we are always going to be in stressful moments and stressful environments because we can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control the, the method that we develop in overcoming stressful times and to stay a little uh, even keel, so to speak, and to just continue pressing forward. So with that being said, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, the series stress. I hope that you got something from it. I hope there is something you can take from it and have applied to your lives. I enjoyed making it and I hope that uh, you got something from it. And again, if you haven't seen the previous ones, make sure you watch the first five before you watch this last one. And if you have been watching so far made it this long then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel below share this with a friend share with someone that you think would get value from it Um, and then stay tuned for more videos more conversations more discussions and more ways how we can help add value to your lives and applicable skills and what you got going on Um, so that's it